Hello, my name is Dr. Jeremy Brecky. I'm the trumpet professor at North Dakota State University in Fargo, North Dakota at the Challey School of Music. And this is a little brief video on how to practice and perform the North Dakota Junior High All-State Trumpet Audition. So the first thing they ask for is scales. And it's probably one of the more important things. And the first one is A major, and the crucial thing on the trumpet is to play, you have A, and then B, and then the C sharp, one, two, and three. This thir the third slide should be kicked very far out for that note, about that far. And then about halfway in for the D, the next note, one and three. And then kick it back all the way in after that. A little trick to do is to start with it all the way out because it doesn't affect the first two notes. So slow, it would be... And you want to practice these slow and in tune at first. And do them separately. Don't try to tie them together. When you record, you can. And then start off slow and then build up the speed. For the second one, the, the D major, again, kick your slide out a little bit for the low D. And, and this time, it can stay out the whole time if you want to. Up and down. And then the last one is F. If you're having trouble maybe getting up to that high F, one thing... There's a number of things that can help, but one thing in particular is to crescendo as you go higher. It might help to think to get louder and to give a little more push of the air as you go higher. So, and this is at 120, march tempo, or faster. That's what the plus means, 120 or as fast as you want to go. Um, so if you 120, and you, should, you can use a metronome, and I'll clip this off here. So this is 120. So that's how you could maybe do them all like in one shot. Then the chromatic scale. Practice this slowly, maybe even slurred at first, um, up and down, just to get the right fingers and your air moving. Again, crescendo as you go up. Other than that, you, uh, you might not want to even try to memorize the fingers so they aren't so you aren't thinking about them too much. Uh, really quick, I'll go back to the scales. If you wanted to take them faster, at like 140, <laughs> I forgot to slur it. I'll go back and slur it. That might be a tempo to shoot for if 120 is uh, maybe easier for you. Shoot for maybe 140 or maybe even a little faster. Okay, now back to the chromatic scale. Well, here's 112. If you wanted to go faster, you should, if you have that down pretty good, creep the metronome metronome up by four clicks. So maybe go up to 116 and then go up to 120 um, and that kind of thing.
Then the etude. <clears throat> With this etude, make sure to try to get the right articulations where you slur and tongue. You're going to want to probably breathe at the end of the first line, right on beat four. <clears throat> probably one of the more difficult things for you might be in the second line when you have, in the second measure, when you have the two sixteenths and an eighth. So that'll be one, two en, three and four. A helpful thing might be to um, say this on a da. Um, so that you're say if you can say the right rhythms and you can say this, you'll probably be able to play it. There is some nice dynamic changes in here, so the second line's a little softer than the first line, and then really soft into the third line. And you I think you'll still want to try to sneak a quick breath at the end of the second line into that piano if you can. Don't play too soft, though, that the notes won't speak. Be careful about that. Another thing is you might practice this in little chunks, maybe even two measure chunks or four measure chunks. Don't just try to play it from the top all the way down. Maybe just play the third line one time, and then you're done practicing. And then another time you're going to come in and just play the second line. So think of ways that you can work on this to uh, optimize your time and get something done. So here is, we'll do it at 104. That's the bass tempo. And again, it says 104 plus, so if you wanted to go faster, maybe how about let's go up to 120 march tempo. There's some helpful hints there for you. Uh, go ahead and maybe play right along with this if you want on some of these, and that might help. And good luck practicing, and good luck with the audition. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. You can email me or call me. My information is on the NDSU website. You can find my email and my phone there. Uh, feel free to get a hold of me. Good luck to you all. Bye-bye.